one more Tuesday Maction on ESPN. ESPN 2, I believe. Eastern Michigan and Ball State. Ball State, one and a half. No total yet. Eastern Michigan, one win away from becoming bowl eligible. Last time that happened, 1987. Is the pressure going to get to them? It might. You know, you got Chris Creighton, the Eastern Michigan head coach. Quote, our goal is to go to a bowl and to win a bowl game. I realize there is a difference between bowl eligibility and a bowl guarantee, but six wins is a pretty magical number in college football right now. So our guys are aware of that. We talked about it a lot before the season, and we are just focused on going 1-0 and to get there. I told them that it would be more significant than whoever wins the national championship. That's how we feel about it. Look, Ypsilanti, Michigan is 10 miles down the road from Ann Arbor. The Eastern Michigan program is way overshadowed, obviously, by the University of Michigan program. In the pecking order in the state of Michigan, it goes, you know, uh, Michigan and Michigan State. And then you have Western and Central. And then you have Eastern all the way down at the bottom. Their football stadium's a dump. The program's been garbage. They haven't been to a bowl. Everyone gets to a bowl some season. They haven't been to a bowl since 1987, Polly. And I wonder if this level of pressure, you know, you say, all right, step up for this. Now they got pressure. This team has never played with pressure. Is that an issue? Yeah, absolutely. No doubt about it. You see it all the time. When it's just because you're supposed to win doesn't mean you know, you're expected to win and uh, you vomit on yourself. So that's the legitimate point there. Last week, we had a losing ticket with Ball State. Ball State, Western Michigan score was deceiving. First downs, 26-25 Western Michigan. Total offense, 553 to 497. Whoops, turnovers. 3 nothing in favor of the Broncos. Ball State kept turning it over. And it wasn't uh, Neal, Riley Neal at quarterback. The ankle gave him problems. They decided to sit him. He's supposed to play Tuesday. And if they don't turn it over, they will move the ball. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jack Milas came in instead of Riley Neal at quarterback. And that cost us, uh, unfortunately. Neal was in uniform. There was no announcement. All of a sudden, he just wasn't in the game. Uh, Mike New thought his limited mobility would be a risk. but uh, And, of course, one of Milas' interceptions was a pick six. But... When it comes to first down, when it comes to yardage, Ball State moved the ball up and down the field. Neal should be back on the field. Can the offense eliminate those mistakes? And for Eastern Michigan, remember, after this week, they get Central Michigan and Northern Illinois. They both come at home, but both those teams are better than Ball State. They'll be up against it if they don't notch victory number six on Tuesday night. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. So we're giving you picks every day, and you're probably making your own as well. Be sure to participate in SBR's weekly Twitter bankroll challenge. Just post your picks on Twitter with at SBR Sports Picks and the hashtag BetSBR before 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, Monday through Friday. We'll be betting your picks, and if the bankroll is positive at the end of the week, you could win the profits. Picks must be of events taking place that day and available in at least one of the major sportsbooks shown in our Best Sportsbooks page.